Oh, this knob is really annoying me. I mean, th there's a knob on my camera mount. Welcome back. A while ago I received this AVR128DA64 chip by Microchip and I also received in a recent post bag this TQFP breakout board and today I thought I'd challenge myself and solder this chip to this breakout board uh, not using a microscope but just using one of these cheap magnifying glasses you can buy these pretty cheap on Aliexpress and they do have a decent magnification and after I soldered the chip to the breakout board and all the header pins I am going to program it and I'm gonna try at first just to see if I can make an LED blink now I'm not gonna make you sit through me soldering 64 pins to a breakout board and then 100 header pins as well so I'm, what I'm probably gonna do is fast forward that bit maybe put a bit of music under it and put some specs up of this chip on screen Alright, that wasn't so bad. Now I'm gonna program this using my Picket 4 and the AVR128DA uses UPDI so only one wire to program and debug and then of course VCC and ground so I'm gonna grab some jumper wires and connect the pins up to the picket and then connect the picket up to my laptop and then fire up MP Lab and write a simple blink sketch alright I've made a quick breakout board pinout diagram and there is VCC on pin 92 so let's connect that and on pin 93 there is ground now UPDI that's on pin 87 now the picket 4 by default doesn't supply a voltage from its positive voltage pin it only is used for sensing so I'm connecting another jumper wire from pin 6 on the breakout board which is also VCC to the picket pin 2 and another wire connecting ground which is pin 7 on the breakout board to pin 3 on the picket and the UPDI is pin 3 
Am I saying that correctly? No, it's pin 2. Well, it depends on how you look at this. If you think this is pin 0, the first pin, then it would be 0, 1, 2, 3. If you think that is pin 1, then it's 1, pin 2, VCC, pin 3, ground, and pin 4, UPDI. I don't know how visible this is on camera, but if you connect a chip to the picket, this light becomes purple when it detects that the picket itself isn't plugged into a computer. But as soon as you plug it in, the light turns blue, meaning things are okay. Alright, I have opened up MPLAB X and I'm going to create a new project and I'm gonna create a standalone project then under the family I'm gonna select the 8-bit AVR and under device somewhere at the bottom there is the AVR 128 D A 64 in this case and as a tool I'm going to select the picket 4 as a compiler I'm using the XC8 compiler and now I just have to give it a name I'm just gonna call it AVR 128 DA and this is 64 Now this opens up an empty project and there's only one file in there which is the make file. So under source files I'm going to create a new file and it's going to be an AVR main which I'm going to call main. Finish. Now I'm going to delete all that is in there because I like to start fresh with an empty file. So delete that. And the first thing I need to do is to define our CPU speed, which is F underscore CPU. And I'm going to define that as being 4 megahertz, so 1, 4, and one, two, three, four, five, six zeros, and it's an unsigned long. And that is because the default frequency of the AVR 128DA is 4 megahertz. It has a 24 megahertz internal oscillator, and if none of the CPU registers are set, it defaults to using the 24 megahertz oscillator but then dividing that by 6 so 24 divided by 6 is 4 so it's running at 4 megahertz and we need to define that because we are going to use a delay now to make my life a bit easier I'm going to include the AVR slash IO dot H and I'm also going to use a delay, so include the delay, include which is under utilities or util and delay.h. We need a main function and that's int main doesn't take any arguments and that's it now the first thing we have to do is choose a output pin for our LED and I am going to choose pin 3 on port C so that's PC3 and that's because on the breakout board there is ground on pin 30 and right next to it is pin 28 
and that is PC3 and I've made this little LED thing which is just an LED a current limiting resistor which is soldered to a female header and that means I can just slide it over and don't have to use a breadboard that's basically for convenience so port C we first have to set the direction and for that I'm going to use pin 3 bit mask which sets pin 3 on port C to high meaning it's an output and now we need a eternal loop so while true now to blink uh, the LED I'm going to use a register called out toggle so it's port C out toggle and again I'm going to use the pin 3 bit mask for that oops bit mask for that and that just well does what it says it does it toggles the output of the port and pin you've provided so when it's high it toggles it to low and when it's low it toggles it to high so that's an easy way of blinking an LED with just one line of code actually we need of course two lines of code we also need the delay and I'm going to set it to 500 milliseconds meaning it will blink at a rate of 1 hertz now just to check if I haven't made any mistakes I'm going to first build the project which it successfully does and now I'm going to make and program the device and it says programming complete so let's plug in our LED and see if it actually works and there we go my first sketch running on the AVR128DA in this case the 64 pin just blinking an LED thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this I'm really looking forward to experimenting with this AVR128DA and that's something I'm definitely going to do and I hope to see you next time bye bye